here's a little girl with big ambitions, Jacqueline Boyer, one of tomorrow's stage stars. Like all other girls of her age, she has to spend a lot of time over dreary old school books, trying to puzzle out the meaning of X squared, and what's the capital of Chile, and who beat who at the Battle of Hastings. She's glad when she can forget about textbooks and get down to the lessons she really loves. Soon she's into her ballet shoes and out in the garden doing a few limbering up exercises. Jacqueline knows that if you want to make a name for yourself on the stage, you've got to put in a lot of practice and hard work if you can call this sort of thing hard work. I know it's hard work for me. And after young Jacqueline's gone through her acrobatic paces, she likes to get in a bit of swimming wherever she can. She could easily get into the championship class if she wasn't all set for a stage career. She's already caught the eye of people who met her, here she is at the Park Lane flat of Miss Helen Breen, wife of Tom Arnold, the famous pantomime producer. Helen saw Jacqueline playing Little Red Riding Hood and realised she'd got something. And now the youngster is hoping for her big chance. It's a great thrill for Jacqueline to be among stage folk and allowed to look through Helen's scrapbook of past triumphs. She gets a special kick out of the photographs of Miss Breen in her principal boy parts. One day she too hopes to be a principal boy. But it's time now to be getting along to the theatre. Today, Jacqueline's getting what they call in stage circles her big break. She's going to be allowed to show what she can do in the star part. This is the time when even the most up-and-coming young performer can be pardoned a bit of stage fright. Grandma, what big ears you've got. Gracious, Grandma, what big eyes you've got. Oh well, we know it's all going to come out happily in the end. 